2018 Royal Rumble sent the internet into a tailspin. It was a highly successful night, with the men's bout approaching all-time greatness, the women's becoming a memorable journey through their divisions past, present and future, and both delivering popular winners. Now, granted, WWE's abysmal track record meant that any small victories would provoke a hysterical response, but the event justified it. With Ronda Rousey's debut, the first ever women's match, and Shinsuke Nakamura's electrifying victory, those predisposed to expect the worst changed their tune quickly. Internet buzz is powerful, and WWE recognised this. They regularly cite YouTube views and social media engagement as key performance metrics. Thus, they often calibrate their product to deliver such moments, knowing it'll get their online fans buzzing, particularly in the modern era. I'm Andy from WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 wrestling moments that broke the internet. Number 10. Rowdy Ronda Pointer Ronda Rousey's WWE debut was weird. Very weird. It was essentially a photo shoot disguised as an angle, with Ronda pointing over and over again at the WrestleMania 34 sign. A debut closer in spirit to Dolph Ziggler's than Brock Lesnar's, which led everyone to ask what the hell WWE were thinking. It was confusion more than excitement that broke Twitter. Is this really a way WWE want to present somebody who they're going to push as the baddest woman on the planet? Michael Cole had no idea what was going on either, which at least stopped him from talking to his audience like absolute nimrods. Uh, guys, guys, does Ronda pointing at the WrestleMania sign mean she intends to wrestle at WrestleMania? Ugh. Number 9. CM Punk Leaves WWE Looking back at it, CM Punk's performance in the 2014 Royal Rumble was telling. Notoriously protective of his character, he allowed El Torito to floor him. Mentally, he'd already checked out, and his physical form followed the next day, igniting the internet. Was the departure legit? Was it a work shoot? Is he ever coming back? Ah, screw it. Let's just chant his name until it happens. On the day of the Rumble itself, Punk tweeted, The view never changes, proving that he's a better poet than a mixed martial artist. Still, Punk, who could walk back into any major wrestling promotion tomorrow, hasn't even entertained that option. He'd much prefer a severe bruising inside the UFC octagon, and since his MMA debut went as well as Ronda's wrestling debut did, he must be bloody miserable. Number 8. The Art of Leaving CM Punk's sensational Art of Wrestling podcast appearance was just as newsworthy as his departure. Not only did it send fans tumbling to Twitter, but the interview's accusations are still debated today. Fans were blown away by the revelations. Punk's the picture of WWE was inherently toxic, negligent, and hypocritical. Ryback was one of his biggest targets. Punk directly called out his recklessness after injuring him a few years prior, to which Ryback responded, I'm dumb as f Given the big guy's recent podcast activity, we're inclined to believe him. The voice of the voiceless also raged against company doctors, the McMahons, and Triple H during this two-hour torrent of venom. Sure, a lot of it is best taken with a pinch of salt, but Punk started an argument that still hasn't been settled. Number 7. Daniel Bryan's Many Misadventures Signed on the recommendation of Shawn Michaels and William Regal, Daniel Bryan was instantly treated like a joke. Pale, scraggly vegan who didn't watch TV, he was deformed in Michael Cole's words. He was ostensibly signed as a good little hand to make the real stars look good, but in spite of WWE's dismal portrayal, Bryan got over. This was unplanned. He was there to make stars, not be one. And when Sheamus killed him in 18 seconds, it only destroyed the Irishman's popularity and planted major seeds for what would eventually become the Yes Movement. This stupid decision didn't just break the internet, the sentiment bubbled over to arenas, destroying the trust between WWE and their fans. If only they just booked him as that good little hand. That might have actually worked. Number 6. Omega vs Okada On January 4th, 2017, Kazuchika Okada retained his IWGP Championship in an amazing match with Kenny Omega. My uncle, your uncle, everyone's uncle, Dave Meltzer, awarded it a 6 star rating. A great match was recognized recognized by one person. That's all there is to this story, but it contrived to divide wrestling fandom. Old Melty grew in controversy. The idea of two non-WWE wrestlers working about better than any WWE match ever was seen as an affront. If ex-WWE match happened in Japan, Meltzer would give it six stars. Soon became a meme, and it still litters the internet today. But seriously, imagine Gargano versus Almas in the Tokyo Dome. 19 and a third stars! Number 5. The streak is over. Two Two important Undertaker streaks were broken on the 6th of April 2014. His decades-long WrestleMania undefeated streak and an almost decade-long streak of classic Mania matches. The latter provoked disarray, and the former a meltdown. The perception was that 
WWE had wasted a potentially star-making win on an established name who was never going to be around to soak up the heat. Many assumed that Vince McMahon had lost his mind, or worse, booked the finish to deliberately troll the fans. Years later, though, the logic has emerged. The company simply replaced one phenom with another, and Brock Lesnar has since become the promotion's biggest special attraction. At his all-too-rare best, the Beast Incarnate is a star above everyone else in the company. Beating the streak is a huge reason for this, and while Lesnar will always be divisive as a part-timer, no one else would have come off so credible in defeating the dead man. Number 4. Stephanie McMahon Invents Commentary News that Stephanie McMahon's insincere commentary would soundtrack the first ever Women's Royal Rumble divided the fan base. Yes, it would be great to have a female voice, but Stephanie? Really? Hilariously, the complaints were so strong that the official WWE Network Twitter account knowingly provided despairing fans with instructions on how to change the language. In the end, they needn't have bothered. Steph was absolutely anonymous, reciting her few lines with a David Otunga-esque lack of passion, insight and urgency. Not everything is the end of the world. Perhaps our rage is better directed towards more worthwhile causes. Perhaps Stephanie McMahon isn't the worst person alive. Mm, no, she is. Number 3. Roman Reigns Suspension After sensationally violating WWE's wellness policy in 2016, Roman Reigns responded with humility. I own this, he tweeted. Predictably, some fans weren't willing to accept this, and they quickly hit the internet to demonise Reigns' actions. He screwed up, they said. Surely now WWE will abandon his mega push? Not a chance. Although Roman squandered his WWE Championship reign, he emerged with the US title. Vince McMahon's pet projects are held to a different standard, and no wellness policy violation was going to change that. Roman has proven himself as bulletproof as Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar in the aftermath of their own transgressions, and with another WrestleMania main event coming up, he remains the guy. Number 2. Sunny for days In 1998, AOL named Sunny the most downloaded woman on the internet. Given that she wasn't anywhere near the most famous, this speaks more to the mindset of Attitude Era fandom than anything else. Back in the day, Sunny was an effervescent feature of WWF programming, who drew fans not just on the basis of her M, um, she was a very popular babyface for her time, impersonating with some realism a nice human being. But given that she recently called the fantastic Candice LeRae too ugly for WWE, we now know this isn't the case. Number 1. The Pipe Bomb As industry shaking as it was, CM Punk's pipe bomb was never meant to cure the company's ills. Punk was given free reign to put his match with John Cena over, not his credentials as the top guy. When he called himself a spoke in the wheel, it wasn't to encourage the fans to break it, but just one more truth in a promo full of them. Still, this didn't stop fans fantasy booking the alternative reality Punk promised. Maybe he would show up in Ring of Honor. Maybe John Cena's time was up. Maybe Vince McMahon was about to recognise the creativity of his own talent. But it was all wishful thinking. After months of wall-to-wall -wall weirdness, CM Punk vs WWE somehow resulted in, er, uh, Triple H vs Kevin Nash. Still, until Punk returned from self-imposed exile after a scant eight days, we dreamt of a brighter future. Wow, wasn't that great, guys? I don't know. It's your decision. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it down here. Check out more of our content over here or check out some of our other channels over here. Oh, you better click it. Click it before I do. No, seriously, you should click it though.